Hello guys, it's Solid 007 and as most of you know, my name is Nino. I've never made a video like this before on YouTube, but I think it's time I come and clean and tell you guys the truth behind my addiction to MGO and why I love the game so much. I'm not doing this video for any attention and I just want to bring some light to the truth behind my MGO addiction and I'm being 100% honest with you guys and when I tell, explain why I love the game so much and why it actually helped me in real life Anyway, let's go and start Firstly, as we all know MC is the best game hands down and I've ever played but not only it's the best game I played it actually is the game that got me back on the track with my life a lot of you may be asking, how did MGO, MGO get me back on track with my life? Uh, let me explain in depth. Back in 2008 to 2012, I was on one of the top players on MGO and then the servers shut down, but I used to play the game a lot. I literally wasted my youth onto it, and <laughs> but um, I had so much fun with in the game and I will play Anna Sova instead of partying or drinking alcohol cause MGO was more fun to me but then the unthinkable happened MGO service got shut down in 2012 after MGO service shut down all I ever did anything I did was just drink and get drunk drinking alcohol party on the weekends most of the time even alone I was very lonely and depressed as well. I found myself lost. I was very much in love with alcohol it, as it helped me feel better because of my disease. I have Tourette syndrome as you may have noticed in my streams with the face cam. I do this neck thing like this and eyes like this. It's not very easy to live with it. And when you are you take alcohol and you get drunk, they are gone. That's the most reason I think why I've been ex-alcoholic. But the threat syndrome is not very easy to live with. I had to also drop high school and some people actually made fun of it that I dropped high school in 2009 because of MGO. But um, we will get to this later. But the truth is during 2012 and 2015 between those times all I did was literally just drink every day alcohol and partied and I was very lost I lost some important relationships lost some friends and I was very much in love with alcohol as it helped me to feel better due to my Tourette syndrome we will get but uh, I was drinking every day and I wasn't really in the right headspace. The reason why I was drinking so much was because I had nothing to do also and a big part of me being addicted to alcohol was because of my Tourette syndrome. As I said, I was diagnosed with. But right now I feel 10 times better. I have good medicine for the disease. Don't need much to drink anymore. And to get me calmed down and make me happier. But at what cost I lost relationships, like I said, and I also was some in a car crash, fatal car crash in 2012. I literally almost died. We drove drunk and lost license and so on. Wasn't very easy after it. And um, I used to go to therapist also many times, psychiatrist and so on. I couldn't really handle the huge trolling by thousands of people from over the internet from because of being probably jealous as well of my MTO skills and calling me ugly and no lifer and so on because I'm very sensitive people man human being but yeah we terribly tried to help with my problems and it did but the most help that I got was 
of obviously my parents, but also within MCO. By playing MCO, I didn't need to drink. I had something cool stuff to do, so it helped me to stay away from the alcohol. I was very lost. This part of my was was easily the first I was on alcoholic trips, just that lonely. But um, in 2016, I heard about MCO2 revival servers. I mean, I heard them before, but back I got back on the revival servers in 2016. So, and I was still willing to go back to the past, but I decided to give a shot with a friend helping me to get set up the day I returned to MGO. I was hit back with all the nostalgia, and I felt so good after such a hard time in my life. And it felt like I could let go of alcohol, and with playing and editing as I was using my time and space on that mostly. And this was all for you guys, my subscribers who have been here for a long time, I have no idea where I would be without you guys on MGO. I could have been homeless on drugs, there were some days I used to think of ending my life because of the environment I was in. Some of you guys watching may have seen the way I am when I'm drunk in the WhatsApp chats or Discord chats and when I apologize to you guys anyone I have disrespect when I was not in the right headspace but I am not a bad guy I'm just a very sensitive person the words when people attack me as I have been very lonely the past years and I've been repressed as well so I'm very sorry once again if I have ever hurt you guys in any ways when I was drunk however I have changed now and I feel good and I'm very happy and I will continue to be better myself because after playing MC Revival I changed for the better things that made me change where meeting my subscribers on the game, sharing good moments, meeting new friends during my time here really got me back on track with my life I got from some of the fellow MGO players the memories I created with them a lot of help I found a poor post to live and better myself. I used to hate also doing jobs, works, where I just play MGO, but now I also enjoy doing jobs. It's actually fun now that I don't feel sick. And also when I have this disease, sometimes I have better days, sometimes I do have worse. But I don't drink to that because of that anymore. Sometimes I play MGO better because if I can focus better, but if my Tourette symptoms are worse, then I can really consider it well and have bad days of playing or even doing stuff in real life, free time. I honestly have no idea where I, where I would be right now if it wasn't for MG and you guys have been supporting me. I am now taking medications for the Tourette syndrome and this helps me to stop drinking so much I, and so on. It makes me feel very calm. I also have now my own place where I'm really enjoying. I was with my parents for the years when I was like 27 years old, then I moved on alone. <laughs> so it also helped me to stay away from alcohol. So when I'm with my parents, I didn't need to drink because they wouldn't let me drink at their house. <laughs> A lot of people say. Alcohol is cure, but no it isn't, it's poison, MTO is the cure for me. And this is why I will always play MTO, I will never forget MTO, it changed my life, it helped me. And I can thank enough you guys and MTO that I stayed away. Those nights I played MTO have could have been easily living on the edge, being drunk, using drugs and so on some bad stuff doing but instead I stayed home because I wanted to play MGO it helped me to get stay away a lot very lot very much and that's why this game is so important to me I know for a fact no other game could do that to me what MGO did for me if there wasn't for MGO game I probably won't have played even Call of Duty that much at all and rather just go out and party or some stuff like that with this I leave you guys thanks for watching 
and I hope you stay with me and watch my journey because I'm only getting started. I hope we gonna enjoy this game a lot more many years after this video is up and I really hope we gonna the player base will rise as well. Thanks so much once again, I love you guys and please share some love and support because I have never opened up like this here on YouTube public publicly and everything I said was truth. So thank you guys and hope you enjoyed the video and remember that games can really help you to get back on track with your life. Thank you.